fine. <laughs> um, but no, she's a big softy. But she's she's a little intimidating. <laughs> Molly, I literally thought you were so intimidating when I first got to DU, and I actually followed you in an open gym, and you gave me one of the looks, and I thought literally you're gonna probably kill me. Molly is a really cool person. Most people are scared of her when they first meet her, but. I just laugh at Molly because she's just funny. I just love her attitude. So I first started watching you play basketball when I was in high school, and I knew that you were going to be an amazing player. And as most people will argue with me that I'm always right, I was right again. And um, I just wanted to let you know that I've always admired how you could rebound the ball and am amazed that you got 271 rebounds this season. So Molly Babs has this thing when like two balls go in the basket at the same time, she has to keep adding them on. And I hated it. Like I always think coaches are going to walk out and we're going to get in trouble because here we are with like eight balls like all piled in the basket. But I don't know. I feel bad. I feel like I have to continue it next year. But I hate it. Molly, I think you're like an amazing mom and I love the relationship you have with Brenly. Um, she's such a good mom and I will always remember her because we always laugh together and have little side jokes. I miss the fun we had together. I like her work ethic. Um, I like the way she always comes to practice every day. Like she can't not try her hardest in a drill, in a game. I'm gonna miss all of our political debates that we've always had. Um, it's great to have someone who's in the same party as me on the team so we can talk about politics. What won't I remember about Molly? My first impression of Courtney the, was that she was really quiet, but when you get to know her, she's not quiet at all. First impression was you were kind of quiet, but you were funny when we started talking. Very, very quiet at first, but once like she kind of started getting to know us, like we got to know her, she just like fully came out and she was just like crazy. Hey Court, um, gonna miss you. Uh, a lot of things that you gave back to this program, all your insight and you know your leadership. You were a senior and you know you were first year on this team, but you really let that senior leadership lead your way, and I'm really gonna miss that. Very determined. Like she is a very hard worker. Um, I look up to her in terms of as a senior and a really good basketball player and you just shoot the three like crazy and I wish I was a guard and I could do like you. I will miss, um, during the games we'd sit by each other on the bench and we'd talk about stupid things. I'll miss always going to lunch after basketball practice and her always coming and shooting with me. What I miss most about Courtney is just her upbeat, fun personality. My favorite memory with Courtney was when she lost her apartment key in my car. So now every time she wants to get in, she has to climb in through a window. Funny memory, uh, we went to Iowa and we roomed together. <laughs> I remember the first time, like, when I was coming here, you were, like, one of the first people to add me on Instagram. And, like, I just remember, like, creeping through your page. And, like, if I would have known at the time that we would have ended up getting, like, this close, like, I wouldn't even believe it. Because, like, I've never had a friendship like this before. Well, I think Riley had a huge impact on me. I mean, she was someone that, that was always there to talk to when things were not going the way I wanted to. Or if they were going the way I wanted to, she was someone that really enjoyed, like, uh, hearing that stuff and really picked me up and kept me going and stuff. You've been such a good role model for me and you're one of the greatest influences in my life. You're such a good influence. Probably the thing I'm gonna remember the most about you is the way that like an event could happen, like something funny could happen right before our eyes. And then when you go around to tell other people about it, you make the story 12 times as funny. And that's like one of the best things about you, honestly. It's, you're so funny. <laughs> One time I was looking for my other set of uh, practice gear and I couldn't find it and I swear someone like misplaced it in the laundry room or something and so I had to wear like a dirty uh, uh, practice stuff and we're walking out here and all of a sudden I look over at Riley and I said, Riley you're wearing my stuff <laughs> and uh, she watched me for like 20 minutes look for it and then she, the whole time she was wearing it. I think I'll miss most about Riley is how she makes me laugh. You leaving stresses me out, so I wish you all the best and love you. Very intimidated of her, and but as time went on, we became friends and stuff. I was really intimidated by her, and I thought she hated me, but as the year went on, we ended up being really good friends. 
If I were to describe Mal, it would be that she's a really hard worker. She sets herself at a very high standard, which makes her do the best that she can on practice and during games. Um, Mal had a big impact on me, me being a freshman and her being a senior. So since she was a transfer, she kind of was in the same boat as us, like just coming in. And she helped us get through the transition from like high school to college and just getting accustomed to the ropes and stuff around here. I love that she is a good friend and she's always there for me on and off the court and she's always willing to help me no matter what. Okay, Mal, there's literally no way I will be ever able to listen to the song Little Tone Boy without thinking about you. Literally every time I hear this song, my mind just goes to you. A couple weeks ago, um, she took my mattress out of my room and put it into the hallway because she thought it would be funny and Jenna didn't want to have a roommate anymore so Mal took that problem into her own hands and solved it. I don't think I will ever forget that one day at the end of my freshman year when you got us all in trouble for dribbling at like 1 a.m. in my room. I'll miss a lot of her humor and jokes. We always joked around. Okay Mal, I will literally never forget the endless amount of talks we had about One Tree Hill and your trip to there and you getting me a sweatshirt and then we freaking go into Chicago into the lobby and Skills is right there! Skills! Antoine! When I first seen Creed, I seen all her tattoos she had in the open gym so I thought off bat like, yeah, she's a real deal, she's the type but yeah, I just thought that she wasn't about games and like she uh, was here to play. My first impression of Cree, I really didn't like her at first because in high school she went to EK and they used to always beat up on us. Me and Cree were really close my freshman year and we had a lot of heart to hearts. And uh, I'm a person that likes to have deep talks and stuff, so getting to know her as a person and she getting to know me is something I'm going to miss. What I love about Cree is. Her good heart and um, her personality. Like she always wants to have a good time. Um, when I first came to DU, she was real open with me and like let me find a friend group. And uh, they're all good people. And we had fun. All right, Cree. Somehow we both managed to make it through the basketball season. I think we owe Jen a big thank you for that one. But I'm really gonna miss how competitive we were in practice. You really brought out the best in me, and you really made me a better player. Cree is a nice and funny person who keeps you laughing. Cree and I had a lot of good memories, so I can't pick one. I'm gonna miss practices when we both couldn't throw the ball off Riley's back and we kept hitting her in the head and then coach just kind of gave up on that inbounds play, but just all the relationships we've had and throughout the entire season and the memories, I'm really gonna miss those. I miss all the laughs we had, all the chill moments and all the game day talks. And mostly, I miss her as a teammate and a um, roommate. When I first met Lauren is I think that we were uh, lifting or something and I noticed that she had super dope socks like they had like a skyline on them and I was like your socks are dope girl and that's when I knew she was cool <laughs> <laughs> she was sitting right here and she's like hi my name's Lauren and I'm from St. Joe and I was like my first impression was that we're gonna be good friends my first impression of Lauren was that she was really quiet and sweet and she was a really good shooter and those are all pretty accurate, but she isn't all that quiet. When I started singing Don't Stop Believing" and Lauren joined in, I knew that we were going to be the best of friends. Um, Lauren's very sweet. She's very nice. And she's always someone that I can go talk to. I trust her. And she just always is there for me. I think she just has a super, like, genuine personality. Like, her smile is just so cute. Like, I'm really going to miss that about her. I love that Lauren really cares about me as a person and she's always looking out for me and I know she always has my back. Well, Lauren has great jokes. I love her jokes. I'm gonna miss them. <laughs> well, Lauren's probably one of my best friends I've ever had here at Davenport. My favorite memory with Lauren was doing the scavenger hunt with her and Murray's and Courtney in downtown Chicago. Don't think that just because you're done with basketball you can stop working out because I'm still holding you accountable to that amazing race, so keep training. I would literally never forget when me and you, Lauren, drove at the back of your truck and we almost literally died. I'm pretty sure I was sick like a week after Ma was driving and she literally slammed on the brakes so bad and I thought we we're gonna literally fly out of there. Truck right now! <laughs> Ma's gonna kill us! 